the common denominator of why you guys haven't broken through? Yeah, it's been frustrating. Um, I mean, I think that we've, you know, we haven't played to our, you know, up to our best, obviously. Um, I think we've created some chances that potentially hit the post a couple times, and, you know, Joe Willis makes a big save, and Gaga made a couple good saves again in Chicago, and, you know, we hit the post in, in Portland. So I think obviously the games would be a little different if some of those went in, but no, I, I think we're, we're not creating enough. Um, I think we're becoming a little bit predictable at times. Um, and so we just need to get back to how we were playing earlier in the season and, and play as a team. I think it all starts with our uh, intensity coming out. Um, you know, when you're not going through the, the best run, um, I think something you can control is how hard you work. So I think we need to come out and just work really hard as a team in this next game and things will start start falling into place. When you say that you're, you're predictable right now, does, what does that mean changing? You know, how, how training is a little bit different when you're trying to solve that, that problem? I think we're working a lot on our attacking movements. Um, we're working a lot on how to press as a team, maybe you know getting some goals in that way, trying to trying to press, win the, win the balls higher up the field and, and go to goal quickly. Um, I think our transition can be better. Um, it was something that we were really good at at the beginning of the year, and um, I think that's something that we can we can be better um, with. But um, obviously it's been, been frustrating, but it's been a good week of training so far. Guys are working really hard, and um, you know I've said this before, when you have some bad results, you just want to get back on the field again. So uh, we're looking forward to, to the weekend. Obviously you don't want to give up any state secrets or anything, but you know for you, the versatility play on the wing at forward, does it mean for you, your know, little movements, working around in different spots? Um, I think what I can bring to both those spots is just trying to stretch teams and getting behind. And, you know, that's what I've been doing my, my whole career. And so I think I can, can continue to, to do that, obviously adding different elements into the game, trying to keep working on my movement in the box, whether I'm playing up front or out wide, um, arriving in the box, trying to work on, on that movement. Because, you know, against Nashville, against Portland, they, they play deep and they have a lot of defenders in there. So I think working on um, playing against teams like that, creating more chances is something we need to keep getting getting better at. And for, for me personally, just continue to work on that that movement in the box. Colorado's ahead. Just uh, want to get your take on the team and then how you guys approach it where, yes, you want it to be a momentum builder, but you maybe don't want to be too riled up for it. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to approach it with the right mentality, like you said, but we're at home. We want to be on the front foot, I think. Um, it's a great opportunity for us to, to turn around this this bad bad streak that we're in, and um, they're a really good team. Obviously, um, adding Giassi, he's a great player. Um, so I think they have a lot of a lot of um, a lot of really good good pieces. So it's going to be a, a tough game, but I think when, when we're at home, we want to come out on the on the front foot and, and put all, all the intensity into the game, and I think we can come out with a result. It seems like this team. There are times in the season that there are bad moments, but they always come out on top. They're always successful. How do you balance being confident but still trying to do enough to just get out of that slump? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's important. I think we need to know, obviously, what we've accomplished this year. It's been been amazing, and um, but I think we can't rest on that. Obviously, we're a team that's competitive. We feel like we can challenge um, and, and do really well in the league. And um, But I think for us, it's, it's kind of just a one game at a time mentality for, from now on. Just focus on... Um, each game, uh, what we can do to try to, to to get three points and just continue to build. We know that in, in the end of the the, the season, um, we just we need to be in the playoffs and we can go on a run from there. But um, I think it's just focusing one game at a time to try and trying to get to that point. Your foundation just had a camp, right? How did that yeah, go? no, it was great. Um, we were able to have our uh, yeah our annual camp and it, it was awesome over at uh, in Preston at the. Uh, home of east side where I grew up playing as a kid so it was it was an awesome day I think we had around a hundred young diabetic kids out there and um, no it's a it's a, a really fun event so it went great how is it you know when you can in the midst of everything going on with this team where you can kind of get in a way and just have a, a beautiful room like that and you know helping kids and, and, and doing something on a positive note you know, aside from everything else yeah it's you know obviously important to to realize there's things outside of soccer obviously and, and that's a, a really cool one for for myself and for my family to be able to step outside of, of this and what we do every day and, and focus on, on something else and uh, an important uh, thing for, for those kids and, and for myself too. It's inspirational for me to be able to be out there with them and, and their family. So it's, it's, a, it's an awesome um, experience. And, and like I said, there's, you know, life's, life's bigger than soccer. So it's great to, to get outside, outside of that and um, do something fun. Uh, you were selected for the All-Star game. Just wanted to get your take on, you know, the, the overall 
game, your selection, playing MX? Yeah, it's a, it's a huge honor. Obviously, it's my, my first selection, so I'm really excited. Um, yeah, super, super grateful for, for the opportunity and, and to, to be a, with with that group and with, with some amazing players. It's going to be a, a lot of fun. Obviously, spoke to some of the guys that went last year. It's a competitive game against League MX, and um, it's uh, they said it was a lot of fun, just a, a great great week. So I'm excited to, to be a part of it, and it's a, it's a big honor. Are you going to be in any of the pre-games, uh, like the shooting contests or anything like that? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't really figured all, all that out yet. Um, yeah, just trying to focus on being here now and then and then that a little bit later, but um, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. How do you uh, come back? You, you lost three to row. How does a team, veteran team, concentrate on the next play, the next opponent without pushing too much? Yeah, I mean, I think we're, uh, we are, uh, obviously, like you said, we're a veteran team, and we go through spells like this sometimes in, in seasons. Obviously, we never want to lose three games. We never want to lose any games, but um, we know that there's ups and downs throughout a season, so it's trying to focus. I was kind of saying it before, just focus game by game on, on what we can do, not looking necessarily at the big picture, but just at each game what, what we can do to, to try to get, get three points and, and just being confident. Like, we, we haven't changed as a team what we accomplished earlier on in the season, how we were playing, um, we, we can easily get back to that. So um, I, I just think it's, it's having confidence and, and taking it game by game. Are, are, are teams doing anything different in midfield in terms of clogging that up? You guys are playing defense, they're coming this way and causing the inability to get outlet passes out there or am I making it too No, I, I don't think it's necessarily I just think we're not playing necessarily as well as we were earlier in the season. So I don't think it's teams. I mean, Nashville, Portland, they both sit a little bit deeper, make it hard to, to create chances, but teams are going to play like that sometimes. So for us, it's trying to adapt adapt to that, trying to create more chances um, in, in that sense. But I, I think it's just us getting back to playing up to our ability. You know, I don't think it's necessarily other teams change anything. Um, potentially with winning CCL, I know we have a target on our back and teams want to come in and, and beat us, of course, and the intensity is a, a step up a little bit, but we have to match that. and. Um, just, just get back to playing up to up to our ability. Big uh, softball one. Last couple. How much is uh, playing in front of fans kind of help you on that? When you're coming home and getting ready for that. Yeah, it's that it's huge. After uh, obviously a bad result uh, last time we played at home, and, and then two two bad results on the road. It's it's exciting to get back home. Exciting to um, to be back in front of our fans. They give us a, a huge lift. So so we're looking forward to the weekend.